everybody out of the shade. You got to come up closer now. Get closer. Welcome, everyone. Thank you guys so much. It's so exciting to see such a great turnout on an absolutely gorgeous day. And we have so much to celebrate today. First and foremost, um, today is our founder's 90th birthday. So, yes, Henry Landworth turns 90 today. And unfortunately, he's not able to be with us today to enjoy all of these festivities. So we want you to know that we're actually streaming live. That's why we were kind of holding off a little bit. And we're videotaping this so that we can send this to him. So he'll know how much he's loved and appreciated. We just learned, you know, he's now living in Jacksonville, Florida. And in Jacksonville, they named today Henry Landworth Day. So very, very exciting. Very well-deserved recognition. So I think we have the Barbershop Quartet here and another little person is going to help us because we want to start by singing Happy Birthday to Henry. Will you help us? Oh, well, come on up, Aria, please. Come right. Are you going to help sing? Because I can't sing. Okay. You want to do right here? Okay. Who's going to lead us? Start with it. You want to start with it? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy be birthday to you. Happy birthday to Henry Landworth. Happy be birthday to Henry. Okay, now will you do me a favor? I want everybody to look at the camera back there and blow Henry a huge kiss. A long way. So, oh, sorry. South Dakota. What's South Dakota and Vermillion? Vermillion, South Dakota. And how old are you? Uh, four. Four. Oh, my goodness. And what have you done so far? Uh, I would punch and dunk in, in there. Where we eat. Yeah. You punch and dunk where you eat? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, are you having a good time? Okay. Well, thank you so much for helping us. You what now? It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. It's Aria from Vermilion, South Dakota. Well, everybody give her a big round of applause. Not everybody can have a princess sing happy birthday to him. And I know you just made Henry's day. So thank you. A big round of applause. Wow. Thank you, Barbershop Quartet. Really appreciate all your help. Very special, a princess singing. I hope Henry enjoys that, absolutely. Well, not only is today Henry's 90th birthday, but it's also the 31st anniversary of Give Kids the World. Also another amazing milestone. So if you do the math, you understand that when Henry was 59 years old, and most people who reach that age and the level of success that Henry had are thinking about retiring, but of course not Henry. Henry always had a passion for making a difference in the world because of his background and recognizing that, of course, his childhood was taken from him. And when he was 59, he learned that there were some very special children who had a very special wish to meet Mickey Mouse. And many of those children weren't able to achieve that goal. And when he found that out, he said, I'm going to make another difference. And so that's when he started Give Kids the World. And the last 31 years have truly been a labor of love a journey of love. And when I look out at the audience and see so many people have been with us on that journey since the very beginning or joined along the way, um, I just want to say thank you to all of you. We have our board members here. So if you're a board member of Give Kids the World, do a little hoot and holler. Recognize our wonderful board. All of our volunteers that are here, where are our volunteers? Yay, volunteers. Our staff is here. And of course, our wonderful families all the way from South Dakota and all around the world. But we also have a very special guest I want to recognize, Henry's oldest son, Gary Landworth, and his beautiful bride, Teresa, are here. So thank you guys for being here with us. They truly have been on this journey of love every step of the way. Well, as you know, that, that very fateful day that Henry decided he was, had a passion for this mission, but 
he, he always loved to say, when I'd go to him and say, I have an idea, he said, I don't want to hear about your ideas. Come back to me when you've implemented them. It was nothing about the idea. It was make it happen. And when he had this idea for Give Kids the World, and he started it in a storeroom of the Holiday Inn Main Gate East, just about three miles down the road, I don't even know that he one day envisioned that it would now be 79 acres, 168 villas, and incredible grounds, and have welcomed over 151,000 families from all around the world. And we are so blessed that we have so many of those founding partners here. Of course, our friends from Disney. So everybody from Disney, please raise your hand and let us know, because that's the very first stop that Henry made when he came up with this idea. And of course, they joined on immediately. Then our friends from SeaWorld joined on, and later on when Universal opened. And then we've just been embraced by this entire, entire community. Well, as many of you know, Henry has not been able to be as actively involved over the last several years. But we all who know him and love him, we realize that his presence is felt here every day. But that's not quite good enough, because what's going to happen in years when we're not here and the people who haven't been brought up with Henry don't have that opportunity? Um, so, <laughs> so we wanted to find a very special way to recognize Henry while he's still with us. So I sat down with Gary, and we were talking about, you know, we had never wanted to, he'd never wanted us to name anything after him. He was a, uh, not, a, he just was very quiet. And um, we thought, well, what can we do to, to recognize him? And we always realized that one of his favorite things here was the ice cream palace. And since the very day that the village opened, we have always had ice cream here. It started in a caboose, a regular train caboose that we served it until we moved it so many times it couldn't be moved anymore, and we outgrew it. And then many, many years ago, we unveiled the plans here for the ice cream palace. But Henry loves ice cream, and probably out of all the decisions that I've made while I've been here, the one that he loved the most is when we started serving ice cream for breakfast. He was thrilled when we started serving breakfast at uh, ice cream at 7.30 in the morning, and that just made his day. So as Gary and I were talking, we thought, there's got a better, more fitting way to honor Henry, his legacy, and make sure that he will always have a presence here, not only in our hearts, but in the village, and everybody will be able to understand and, and learn about his story. So when you do that, of course, you're honoring a man who's made such a tremendous difference. You want to make sure that you go to the people who can make it happen. So who do I go to for everything? Our friends at Disney, right? So went to our wonderful chairman of the board, Jeff Ollie, and said, hey, we want to design an ice cream place that will have Henry's name on it and will also honor him, his legacy, and be a, a, an eternal com um, testament to everything that he's done. So he turned it over to the wonderful group under Joe Perinella's lead at WDI, and they brought to us three incredible, incredible renderings of things that we might be able to choose from. And there was one that really spoke to us. So we are so excited today to unveil our plans to honor Henry with a brand new ice cream facility, and we're starting a promotion that's called 90 for 90. And we're hoping that folks will either donate $90, $900, $9,000, $90,000, what it is, to help us make this dream a reality. So we're very excited to unveil Henry's Starlight Scoops. So for many, and we're going to give you an opportunity to come up and look at the boards. They've done an absolutely incredible job, just to give it some context. If not, many of you know, I know a lot of you know Henry's story, but what led him on the path to success was he was the general manager of the Starlight Motel over in Cocoa Beach during those pioneering space days. And he made friends with all of the original Mercury astronauts, with folks like Art Buckwald and Walter Cronkite, and that's really what helped him later on develop Give Kids the World. So this is a testament to those early space pioneering days. We've got some wonderful memorabilia from those days. We actually have a flag that when John Glenn went back up to space in the late 90s, he carried with him uh, a Give Kids the World flag on that space shuttle mission. So we'll be able to really showcase all of those wonderful mementos that we have from Henry's background. But more than that, our families, our volunteers, our partners, our guests will be able to come in and learn more about Henry, and he will always have an incredible place here, not only, again, in our hearts, but here physically. So we're very excited. We love you, Henry. We hope you have the happiest, happiest birthday ever. Thank you guys for being here. Of course, we're serving ice cream. We have some birthday cake for everyone to enjoy. But please come on up, and Joe wants to say something. Oh, but wait, there's more. Oh, my God, I love that one. But wait, there's more. There's more. We have one more little 
surprise for you. On behalf of the design team, we very much wanted you and Gary to be able to share with Henry a scale version. So we have an eighth inch scale model that you're going to be able to share with Henry. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Disney, thank you. Thank you to everyone for making this morning so special. Please, let's start the music. More dancing, more partying, more cake. And happy birthday, Henry. We love you. Let me just add one more thing. We do have a website for this. And if any of you who've known Henry would just like to share any stories that you have, if you go to www.gktw.9090 backslash 9090 something, 9090. Oh, sorry. Okay. www.gktw.org backslash? backslash 9090 and leave your wonderful comments and birthday wishes for Henry and we'll make sure that he gets them. Thank you all again. Ice cream, cake, hat, souvenirs, all that way. <laughs>